Welcome Bomb Squad to episode 5 of Beyond Our Mic. Grab your snacks, sit back, relax and enjoy. And now, introducing your host, AJ. And Sosa. Yo, 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 que pasa mi gente was Poppin' Bomb Squad. Welcome back to another episode. This is episode number seven. Seven. Welcome, welcome back. After two long weeks, we are back. I hope you guys are having an amazing Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, whatever day you guys are watching this. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Your day was flawless. No negativity, no uh, whatever, whatever. You know, uh, well, we're back. We're back. We're here. We apologize for the inconsistency. You know, it's been it's been um, there's been a lot of discussion and we'll get into that more into the video. Uh, just go ahead and stay tuned throughout the video. But um, we're going to get into that and, and why we've been very inconsistent and not why, but but, you know, what we're planning, what we've been talking about. Um, so we're back. It's your boy, AJ and uh, Sosa. Sosa. You already know Sosa. Yeah. We're back. We're back. We hope you guys are having an amazing um an amazing uh, week or your week was was uh was good and nothing not too much stress on you guys and everything like that you know yep um if you guys of course since this is coming out on friday uh if you guys have seen the instagram story posted on the day of recording which is wednesday um then you guys would have seen that uh we have a q a posted um for a future episode slash video that we're gonna do um so shit yeah i mean yeah so um if you guys are followed us or following us on our instagram um we did put up a story we did put up a story uh that uh we are planning to do a q a for our next episode not this episode but for our next episode the following um yeah. episode eight um that will re that will be releasing october something i don't know i'm not sure but um yeah that's why we want you guys to go ahead and stay tuned make sure you guys follow us on ig because everything everything goes on there uh there also there's also a reel up there that post or that story would have uh will be going on for the next week as well just to kind of remind you guys so that you know you guys don't forget that you know to ask us questions or whatever it is uh we want you guys to be um interactive uh, interactive with us we want you guys yeah. to be interactive with us because that's the only way that we me and sosa actually like hey they want to know this let's do it you know this is the only way we kind of get our motivation to to like you know what okay they're interacting with us they want to see more of this they want to see more of that and that's what gives us the courage to want to come and be like you know what let's let's, let's do, it, do for it. Them. let's do yeah. it for them so that's the main reason we ask you guys to just interact with us you know and 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 obviously you don't have to you know sometimes people like to just watch the video and chill and gym and and you know things like that but uh, and we appreciate you guys. We appreciate every single one of you guys for subscribing and just sticking with us, even through the inconsistency, because it's it's it really isn't easy to be doing this. It, it isn't, especially with our schedules and 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 you know everything that we got going on, you know, um, mentally, emotionally, or or just even you know physically sometimes. You know? Yeah. And obviously, with that being said, it's like um, like again, if you guys did see the story, we did also say or mention that this episode is it's going to be a little bit on the shorter end. Um, well, we'll see how long it goes, but um, I'm just putting that out there so you guys, you know, can expect at least just a, a decent, lengthy video as to what me and Alex have um been discussing for the past, you know, couple weeks. And um, honestly, that just starts with, of course, we've mentioned before in previous episodes about making uh, a content channel on YouTube aside from the podcast channel, and uh, me and him have been talking about it um coming up with ideas of what we could do on a content channel rather than you know on this channel um we don't plan on getting rid of a podcast we're not we're not quitting that no we're, we're definitely gonna get back into those one hour videos that you know we usually do and all that stuff and different topics that come up and all of that but um me and him have just been discussing about making a content channel where that channel will do the challenges that we've talked about the the videos, the vlogs that we might do, we're going to post shorts up on there. And, um, you know, that's just something that we've had talked about. And we'll have these podcasts um, coming out. We don't have a specific schedule, but we'll, we'll definitely not leave this in the dust. We're definitely going to continue to do this. Yeah, so... so we aren't saying that we're quitting the podcast. We're not going to... We're not, we're not quitting the podcast. We enjoy oh, doing this. Uh, and we have so much more we want to talk about. 
um, what we're saying is we're planning to um, make another YouTube channel. And that YouTube channel is strictly just going to be content, meaning it can be challenges, it can be vlogs, it can be little things and trips that we go ahead and do, which I'm also going to, we're also going to talk about our little past experience. I know in our past episode, we had talked about us going fishing, but we'll get into that too. We're not going to just be like inform. It's not going to be just an informative uh, episode today right, right. it's gonna be more than that we'll go ahead and give you guys a little more um but as of right now we just want to go ahead and let you guys know give you guys a heads up that yeah our podcast we did plan on doing them every single week but we did know it's been taking a toll on us uh just because it's it's a lot of work throughout the week uh, for myself you know yeah, and uh, shouts out to those people who actually do podcasts like almost every day man or like consistently yeah. you know it's it's a it's quite <clears throat> a lot man and um but i mean they're they're used to it they're, yeah, they're used but, to it. they have connections and and that again, and, and they have editors too. Yeah. We, 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 they have we, editors. They have very the high budget, you know, yeah. uh, setups and all that stuff. We're very low budget trying to, you know, just do our own thing and edit our own stuff know. and things yeah. like that. Um, but, but again, we're not quitting our podcast. Nope. This doesn't mean that, okay, you know, oh, we're going to do a podcast every two, three weeks. No, we're, we're still going to try our best to bring out a po- an episode every single week. We're absolutely going to try to do that. But on top of that, we want to go ahead and try to make content aside. So that's why we're also saying just follow us on our Beyond Our Mic. That's also going to be part of our content. We'll let you guys know if we do do decide to make another IG for that, which I highly doubt just because we want to keep everything just, Yeah, you we'll, know. we'll probably just keep the same Instagram. You know, yeah. keep the whole community or whoever's supporting us, our supporters in yeah. one area and not yeah. make too much. So so just go ahead again, follow us if you guys want to stay informed with that. Um, but we are planning to make more content. Um we do want to do content such as such as you know little challenges like this, like the one chip challenge. I know this is the new one, right? Yeah, that's the twenty twenty three one. Yeah, this is the the twenty twenty three one chip challenge, Carolina Reaper. Yeah, dude. And Naga, I mean Naga Viper Reaper. What is that, dude? I've never even heard of that. Let me bro. see it. My my experience with this. I'm gonna talk about my experience with this one. Uh, well, not this specifically, but um, this was when I was obviously in college. I was I was in college in my dorm rooms and. All that stuff. Uh, we got the 2022 version one, the blue, the blue box, the not this one, but the blue box. And um, I'm gonna be honest, I I never tried the first one, but I remember I was with uh my group of friends that I had there, and me and one of my homies, we were all like, "Yo, like let's let's do it, let, like let's just try it, fuck it," because um we had came back from I think In and Out. And we were just eating in and out, you know. I I, I ate my in and out, my food and all that stuff. And um, yeah, for some reason it was like it was late at night, so for some reason we were just all like, dude, let's just, let's just do this. And so we did it, and um, I, I I went into it thinking, you know, like there's no like it can't be that bad, right? You know, it just can't be that bad. But I'm pretty sure that's what a lot of people think going into shit like this. But um, no, I I ate the chip. I ate the whole chip and um wait so you put the whole thing in your mouth like you grabbed it and then you put the whole thing in your mouth or did you take a bite out of it and then no well I tried to put the whole thing in my mouth so I tried <laughs> to put the whole thing in my mouth and to... it would crack and I didn't you got my you got my mouth or what I I had I had like pieces came like they crumbled and also but I, I like I ate everything I ate everything because I had a napkin there I ate everything and um I, I can tell you guys this dude like that chip man like taste wise, ugh, it was so disgusting. Like I was, I was gonna throw up just based off the, the, the like taste of it. So like, it didn't even taste good. It was hell just, no, bro. Really? It, was, it was just pure freaking like powder. Like yeah, it was like oh dude, it was like I don't know how to explain it. It happened so long ago, and I try to forget it. But nah, it was it was disgusting. I, I'll say that first. And um, so I eat it, and. Uh, Everything was was okay until like I would say like fifteen seconds in, I did a cough, bro, because like my throat was tickling. I did a cough, and that's when it just all hell broke loose, man. My my mouth was on fire. So like, what happened? So you coughed? Yeah, I coughed. And after so it, so I ate the chip, right? Uh-huh. I ate the chip, and in the back of my throat, like it was like if like it, it felt itchy. Yeah, yeah. Like it felt itchy. Kind of like those have you guys ever have you ever been in class and then like your throat starts itching in class and the class is like super fucking quiet. Oh, you try you try <laughs> you're like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> swallowing like fucking yeah, crazy. Yeah. Dude, that's happened to me so many times. Anyways, sorry. So so you coughed. Yeah, I coughed and then like that's when I just felt the heat. Like I felt like the 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 spice like in the back of my throat. A big ass fucking cricket, bro. Right, bro. Damn. <laughs> this guy. Sorry, it's part of it's a it's a bomb squad member. 
This dude. Sorry. <laughs> um, what's it called? See, now I lost my train. So you thought. coughed. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I, so I, you I just coughed. coughed. I coughed, and that's when everything just, you know, went downhill from there, man. Like, everything just got hot. Like, I felt my face get so hot. I immediately started sweating, and, um, like, I don't know how to explain it, bro. It was just, like, it's not your ordinary spiced up, bro. You just, like, like it hurt. Welcome to hell, motherfucker! <laughs> it hurt. Um, I tried drinking water. I tried drinking, you know, milk and all that stuff. Goo goo ga ga. I want... I want milk. Whatever my friends um, offered me and all that stuff because they, you know, offered me some stuff. Um, there was ice cream that, you know, one of my homegirls offered me and all that. But, like, dude, none of it worked, man. I went, I ran into the dorm's restroom, bro, and, like, I turned on the shower, dude, and I was, like, my eyes were bloodshot red. I, I kid you not. They were bloodshot red as if, like, like it was just crazy. Wow, that's and insane, bro. The spice level, though, the spice level went away. Like, the spice just went away. And I thought I was good. I was like, oh, my God, thank God it's over. Uh -huh. Right. But and since obviously it was late and all of that. So what time, I, oh, Brown, what time did you do the challenge? I don't you remember. Say? Maybe like, like nine, ten midnight. Oh, midnight. Yeah, I think it was midnight. Oh, shit. OK, I think it was midnight. Yeah, it, it was late. It was late. Um, What's it called? But yeah, I thought everything was OK and I was feeling tired. So I'm like, OK, I'm just going to go to sleep. So I was just chilling in my bed, you know, like after I got done, you know. So the spice was gone. No yeah, more. The spice no was more. Gone. Okay. Every, okay. Everything was literally gone, right? Okay. And then when I laid down, after a while, you know, just on my phone or whatever, I got like this immediate pain in my like in my stomach or in my intestines or whatever, you know. I, I felt something in there, and I was all like, oh, sh you know, damn, like I feel like I need to throw up. Mm -hmm. So I'm all like, dude, okay, I'm just gonna sit up. You know, take a chill pill and all that stuff. I had Tums there. I took Tums, you know, and I was all like, oh, man, like, this isn't good, bro, because that that sharp pain, it was at first, it was like, it was your typical nausea, okay. you know, like I started feeling nauseous and like about to throw up. Okay. So I'm like, all right, screw it. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. You know, if I throw up, I throw up. Right. And, and it's funny, too. It's funny because uh, I was just there. I didn't happen to throw up. I wanted to, but like nothing was coming up. Right. And it was funny because my friend that ate the chip with me minutes later came into the bathroom <laughs> and like he went into the other stall and I knew it was him because I can recognize like his voice and all that stuff. Yeah. And I'm all like, yo, is that you? And he's all like, yeah, bro. And he's all like, I'm dying. And I'm like, bro, me too. So you guys were taking a shit together? No, or it wasn't a shit. We were just like, like puking. Like, oh, we so you guys were like, actually throwing up. Yeah. So eventually I started throwing up my friend like two stalls down or whatever he was like he was letting it all out bro like you hear the liquid you hear all that oh dude it was nasty it was nasty but like that happened and after like after a while of me just standing there dude because i was in there for like a solid like 10 minutes bro like dude i felt like this twist like it felt like a twisting in my insides bro and it like it prevented me from like stand like standing straight up it was literally, like, making me crouch and, like, curl up. And, dude, like, I don't know how to explain it, bro. I just felt like I was going to die. Like, literally, I was going to die, you know? And, like, I just thought to myself, like, people do this all the time. People do challenges. People on YouTube, they do it. You know, and I wonder, how the hell do they get through this? Is this what they go through? And yeah. of course, I I just put into my head like everyone experiences these these things differently. Everybody's you know? like, body's everybody's different, yeah. different. And I'm all like, am I gonna die from this? So again, you know, you guys can laugh or whatever, judge me or whatever, but I'm all like, nah, dude, I need to go to the hospital because it just didn't feel right. I'm not gonna get through the night just feeling what I'm feeling, bro, because yeah. it felt so bad. So I tell my dorm my um, what's it called, my dorm advisor or whatever, like. Hey, I, I think I need to go. And, you know, they they handle their whatever. Uh, my homegirls offered me to take me to the hospital and all stuff. So yeah. we get to the hospital and um, we get there. Like, I have to wait because, you know, we have to wait in the yeah, waiting room ER, and all yeah. stuff. And, dude, I'm telling you right now, that waiting, we waited at least like 15, 20 minutes. And constantly it would happen. It would twist and I would curl up and all that stuff. 
And then the worst part, bro, is that it would come in waves. So it would stop. I'd feel like maybe a minute of relief, right? And I just prepare myself and you can feel it. It was that thing like you can feel it come up and then like it starts twisting. Like you can feel it coming and that's when I just brace myself every time it happened. And like it just hurt, bro. And next thing you know, like I get called up. Um, doctors would just give us this numbing thing to numb our, you know, insides or whatever. After that, dude, it's like everything was all fine, all good. And um, <laughs> I was at the end, I was all like, damn. Like I just realized I just did something stupid. You know, and yeah. to end the story off, we just ended up hitting up um, Denny's, bro. At like at that time, it was like three, four in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I just hit up Denny's and just had breakfast, man. That with the homies. Shit. Yeah. Breakfast with the homies. Yeah. So All because out. of this. Shout fucking... out to my homegirl though. I took me to the hospital, man. Shout out to you for taking care of, of my my brother right here, so yeah. for being a fucking idiot. I was. Oh, that was so stupid. Um, but yeah, this is that's what this challenge is. I mean, and this one's the new one, so. It has Naga Viper Pepper, so if you... Would I do it again? Probably not, but I would definitely want him to try it. So if you guys want him to try it, we'll If you want me that. to try it, again, let us know. Let us know if you guys... Uh, with the challenge videos. But again, you guys got to be... Uh, um, Just let us know, man. Just be interactive. Interactive us with know, us, yeah. You know? uh, the, the good thing about this is that it has four grams of total carbs. So That's good. No, but the thing is too, bro. <laughs> hey, and, and I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed too the... No protein, by the way. No, okay, <laughs> No protein. <laughs> obviously not. Sorry, shit. go for it. Go for it. Um, that obviously you guys heard about the the I guess the teenager or kid whoever who he, who died from eating the uh the chip. I don't think it was this one specific. I think it was the the one the, that you tried last year. Yeah, the one that I that one that I ate. And um, you guys probably heard that they stopped um selling these. I don't know if they have already, yeah. but they said like they pulled them from the shelves and all that stuff. So I'm all like, damn, dude. That's crazy, and it does say it does have a big ass warning label on the sign. Right. I'll go ahead and show you guys. I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys. It does say right here: seek medical attention should you experience difficulty breathing, fainting, or extended nausea. That's exactly what he just explained, and that's that man. That's fuck. It even tells you after touching the chip, wash your hands with soap and do not touch your eyes or other sensitive areas. Thank God I didn't touch my eyes though. Man. I didn't touch my eyes. It was thank just God so you didn't hot. touch your fucking pee pee, bro. Okay. Imagine. Oh, that shit, that shit would have been would fucking I, hurting. Why would I? I don't know, in but a what, time if, like that, what if you got a little itch and then you got a fucking, no, you never know. Bro. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I was just dying. I'm just saying, bro, but that's crazy. Nah, but honestly, this this thing seems serious. Yeah. But um, I feel like it would make good uh. Good, good content, video. good content, yeah. yeah, for sure. And again, if you guys want us to see, I mean, if you guys want us to see, sorry, if you guys want to see that, go ahead and uh, let us know. Um. Just again, interactive, interactive. Um, but yeah, that's that's, that's pretty much what we. Uh, thank you for sharing that, my boy. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a little embarrassing, crazy, but crazy. It's not. I mean, off for the bomb squad, right? Off for the bomb squad, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, no, no. Um, that's what we're planning to do, you guys. We're planning to make a new content, new content on on another YouTube channel, or maybe on this channel. This again, we've been in the for the past few weeks that we've gone gone ghost. I guess you could say. Me and Sosa have been uh, discussing a lot of things. A lot of things we want to do. A lot of things we have planned. But again, it's just with our schedules. Like we're very, very busy here and there, and we try to make as much time as we possibly can for our podcast because we love to do this. We love to like. We love hearing our friends or, or just even new people. We just love of, knowing that people are watching. Exactly, you know? and we love yeah. to hear when they're like telling us like, "Hey, so what happened this? What happened that?" And it kind of like like for me, it's kind of like, "Damn, dude, they really they really want to yeah, watch." It's, you know, it's motivating. Exactly, it's and motivating. it's motivating, right? So. That's what we that's what we want to do for you guys, and we're very glad that you guys um, um, enjoy watching it. As for my homies over there, my homies, you know, they keep telling me, yeah, you know, I can't wait to like when I get home to the gym. I have a boy Danny over here. He he, his name's Danny. Um, he he tells me, yeah, bro, I listen to it at the gym. My boy Edwin never, my oh, boy Edwin there too. Um, Manny, Manny, you also, I appreciate you. He's been giving me ideas too. I want to go ahead and give him a little shout out too. I'm gonna go ahead and give all my boys shout outs. As a matter of fact. Uh, my boy Joey too. That's my 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 boy Joey right there. Uh, my boy Joey, well, hey man, he's always always bomb squad, bomb squad. We'll be working and that will be like bomb squad. Uh, you're a real one, real one. You guys are all real ones for real. And I I do appreciate you guys for for real, like for real, for real. Um, but just go ahead and stay tuned. Let us know. Please be interactive with us as well. For every other person that's out there, um, I know my boy has has friends that are are, are uh, followed and subscribed as well. Uh, we have our little cousins, uh, Jaden and Jordan there too. Um. I probably just have family involved. Yeah, just just we have a family whole bunch of family involved. involved and and we do appreciate you guys. Our uncles are 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 involved as well. Everybody, you know, we do appreciate every single one of you guys. Um so shout out to all you guys. <clears throat> um but yeah, so that's what we're planning to do. Uh we just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little informative 
part of the video this is the little little part but we'll go ahead and end that um if you guys do know if you guys did watch our episode six we did um let you guys know that we were going on a fishing trip uh, I have pictures and videos that I'll go ahead and put up as we continue to, to talk about it. But I want to go ahead and ask Sosa here, like, what did you, it was his first time. My and first if you didn't time. watch, if you didn't watch the episode six, then go ahead and watch it. He was nervous. He was scared. And it's funny. Cause I think that episode we were talking about pirates too, right? Yeah. yeah that episode about we were talking about pirates. So, prior, um, so what yeah. did you think, man? Like, like for your first time fishing, uh, um, uh, well, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Um, I, I find it, I find it a very cool experience. At least for like a first timer and all that stuff. Um, obviously, if you're not a fan of fishing or, you know, being out there in the ocean, maybe it's not for you. But um, if you were, if since you're specifically asking me, I will say it is definitely worth an experience. Um, to experience well, at least once. You know what I mean? So it's like worth an experience to experience. Quoted yeah, by Sosa. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just okay. Kidding um but yeah i liked it i enjoyed it um <clears throat> I, I definitely will say that it, it's not easy <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um deep sea fishing it's, it's it's really cool because um when we were younger we would always go to you know like the beach like for example santa, santa monica, monica with our, yeah we would our go to santa monica with our cousin and, and uncle and we yeah. would, those little fishing poles right at the santa monica pier when they would let you at the time fish. right they right. don't i don't think they let you anymore right but. And we and we wouldn't catch anything. We would just sit there for freaking hours, bro. Or sometimes it would be, or sometimes we would, and it would be like a little tiny baby fish like this. Yeah. Or, but it, those, or most of the time we'd pick up damn but those, those were seaweed. The, yeah, but those were the good times, you know. Those are the yeah, times that we yeah, just those, enjoyed, you know. Those are just moments to enjoy. At least we were out there, you know. But um, no, just going back to what I was saying, it's like we used to do that. So I I just once I just thought like it's gonna be the same thing, you know, just out there, you know, not catching anything. But dude, when I tell you, man fish after fish after fish it's like dude you're guaranteed a fish and obviously that's what my pops told me that's what he said and you know it, it's insane because he happened to catch the most out of the group that we went with he caught like how many how many i don't did he catch? like 11 God damn, so there's a man. limit that they, there's a limit that they tell you okay once you catch 10 fish that's it and we have bags and they put them in the bag he was already done by the first stop that we went to and keep in mind we were going to different stops like in in, in the in the place right so literally the first second stop he was already up to like eight fish so at that point me and this guy were struggling we're like man we're not catching nothing man nothing and this guy started getting frustrated <laughs> yeah and and i'm i'm the one standing right next to him yeah i'm literally exactly. right next to him so i'm in my head like why don't the fishes come to mind bro? <laughs> exactly you know like, exactly and we're all standing like right next to each other as well you know and we're on the boat and, and everything it's cool it's a really cool experience but uh, he got to a point where he already maxed out his bag and he's like he caught another one and then he'd be like okay put it on number like his number was nine, right? He was like, okay, yeah. put on number nine <laughs> because this guy wasn't catching no fish, yeah, and I wasn't, wasn't catching, catching no anything. fish, right? But as the time went on, you know, as the time went on, you know, uh, we started catching more fish. I do have a video of my dad actually catching a big, oh a yes. big one, one of Gotta the big show ones. Them. Oh, look at that one. Oh, good one right there. Pull it, pull it, pull it up. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and try to show you guys that video or a picture of the of the fish that he caught. Well, yeah. Um, um no, but but yeah, it's just like again, I'm not I'm not big on fishing. Um would I do it again? Probably not. But I I don't regret trying it at least, you know. And um I'll even we'll even pull up a picture of the fish one of the fishes that I one fishes. One of the fish that I caught. <laughs> I, said, fishes. Sorry, I was so self conscious <laughs> about that. I was like, what the hell? Um uh uh, one, of, one of the fish that I caught. <laughs> one of the fishes. <laughs> one, of the, one of the fish that I caught. We'll pull up a picture. Um, and I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna say this right now. Again, I'm not, I'm not into fishing. So my attire, my, my clothing, did look like it looked way out of, out of like. You know what I mean? Like I just wasn't supposed to be wearing that. Everyone man. else. Like, I, I look out of my place. You know. Everyone else was wearing boots, like fishing boots. Everyone was wearing like fishing gear yeah, and we and pull I'm, up we pull up with a nike sweater i pull up with yeah. some like nice designer uh yeah uh, not designer but like uh, like just, some nice just clothes. clothes clothes that are not supposed to be on a boat i'm wearing Hundreds air max of- i'm wearing air max 97s this guy's wearing air forces <laughs> yeah dude it's just like we're just so out of our our, our element like out of yeah. my element especially 
So, but yeah, we'll post a, uh, pull up a picture. But um, I just found it really cool, man. You know, uh, it's definitely tiring if you're not experienced. You know, because yeah. you're reeling it in, and it's just so tiring, man. And you know, yeah, it kind of sucked because sure. I'm a lefty, and like, yeah, they only had like right 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 handed like rods, fishing rods. Yeah, so it was kind of difficult for me. But hey, I caught some fish. So if any of you guys ever want to actually go deep sea fishing, man, I I I, I think it's really worth it. Yeah, you know, and I, and we saw some dolphins too. I'll go ahead and put a video up here, a little oh, video yeah. of like the dolphins that we saw and stuff like that. Yeah. But it was cool. It was cool. Um, it it was it was a cool experience. Uh, we all enjoyed it. Uh, at first, it was a little hard. It was a little rough. Um, but it was it was a it was really cool. You know, um, we did we were able to bring the fish back home. Uh, they filleted them and everything like that. And then I think the day, the boat. Yeah. I think a day or two days after that, we actually made some fish tacos and that. It was so fucking good. What it was like beer battered, beer yeah, battered fish tacos. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was really fucking good. But again, I'll go ahead and put videos and pictures and, and things up there for you guys, so you guys can go ahead and see. And uh, but yeah, it was overall a good experience, you know. But those are things; those are other things that we want to do for our other YouTube channels. Just kind of do little clips and videos like that, so that you guys can kind of join us on adventures that we have. Yeah, going so you on guys like can that. see them exactly the day that we do them. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. or not the day exactly that we do them, but, but like. A like, little few days before, uh, a few days after recent, we do them, yeah, exactly. Because recent. this was what, like two, three weeks ago that we yeah, were fishing. This is when we took that break. Yeah. Man. So, um, we want to do that, and and we want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about us creating another YouTube channel for content such as that? It can literally be anything. It could be vlogs. Sometimes we want to do little vlogs again, challenges or just things like that because we are to, we do tend to kind of go out and 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 want to try new things. And uh, maybe there's a place that you guys want us to go and check out, and we can go ahead and do that. It could be maybe doing something paranormal kind of like you know going out and, and doing some the paranormal King's activity ritual. or, or, or there go we'll again with this we'll have a special guest on that one uh, we'll have a special <laughs> guest you know who you are you yeah, know you who, know you, who are. you are um but we'll have you lead it and and, and everything like that as a matter of fact i'll be behind the camera and you would go ahead and and, and uh, wow because the cameraman never dies huh exactly <laughs> yeah, there you go that's messed up um but yeah no overall that's pretty much what uh what we want to do and what we came on here for uh to tell you guys uh this episode isn't going to be long as we told you in the very beginning yes. um we do have a lot more stuff that we want to talk about but for our next episode on episode eight, we do have a Q&A coming soon. Uh, we do want you guys to go ahead and ask us questions. Um, we do apologize for the inconsistency as well. Uh, we do sincerely and genuinely apologize for that. Uh, again, you know, it's just been a little rough here and there just with our schedules. And, and, and uh, um, there's a lot of things that I have got that I have personally going on that, you know, I have to try to figure out. As for Sosa, he has a few things that he's he's got going on as well. You know, he needs to work on. And, right. Uh, just overall, you know, that's just a human part of a human being, you know, part, part of life, of, part of part of life. And, and, and sometimes things don't go your way or sometimes, you know, people, uh, you know, come but we, and go but we always and find a way like that, you know what I mean? But point is, you know, it, it's just we're taking our time, you know, we're taking our time with it. Uh, there's no rush for this. At the end of the day, we want we don't want to feel forced to do these things. We want to do them because we want to do them. And I feel like if we go ahead and we start forcing ourselves to do this, we're not going to want to do it eventually. Um, but here we are uh we love every single one of you guys from the bottom of our hearts uh again we apologize for such a short video but uh, we do promise you guys that the, for the next episode the next episode which will be next friday um it is going to be a q a and we will probably do a uh a challenge in that podcast just to kind of give you guys a little hint or a little sneak peek of what the other youtube channel will consist of right 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 um but we do plan on doing that so so do you have anything else you want to say man Nothing much, man. Um, you know, I, like deep down, I do genuinely like miss this, you know, when we have the time to do it and and it falls into our schedule. It's just like, you know, this this is something regardless if we have a, a small following. It's like like we said earlier, it's just knowing, knowing that we have supporters, knowing that we have people who watch, knowing that we have people who ask us, you know, like, hey, when's the next episode coming out? And, um, you know. Like like we said, we just we don't want to give up on you guys, you know, and um, and we're not going to we're not going to give not. up. Just let you guys know we're not giving up. We're, this we're is not. not the end. This is just a little bump in the road where we we kind of came across, and it's a big bump that we're gonna sooner than later get over, you know. But it, it's all part of life. It's all part. We all go through it. You know what Again, I mean? Yeah, it's just one step at a time, taking it at our own pace, and uh, you know, like if if anything, this is just more of a hey we're we're gonna be doing this other thing 
that obviously falls into having this podcast and all that stuff you know whatever we do on the the other content channel when it comes to behind the scenes or or little bloopers and all that stuff we can cop on here and talk about them and you know it's just, it'll just I, I i believe that you know it'll all fall into place and um it'll just work out and obviously at the end of the day it's in our hopes that you know it entertains you guys and has you guys coming back yeah. yeah exactly um so we're gonna go ahead and just start wrapping everything up um i did also want to mention because i know a few people are asking me with the whole giveaway thing that thing is it's still it's still there uh we did make our milestone at 250 subscribers we are currently at 50 subscribers i'm not sure if it went up or went down but we are at 50 subscribers so what i was thinking was i know 250 is a big milestone just in the sense that like we're a few hundred away from there so what i want to do is at 100 subscribers we'll do a small little giveaway um we'll start small yeah we'll start small so at 100 once we finally reach 100 that's 50 subscribers more it literally took us i think three weeks for us not even three weeks i think like two weeks Less two or to get to get 50 subscribers yeah so if we about. can do that in another two weeks or so to 100 subscribers we'll do the giveaway um but the only way that you could be into the giveaway is if you are subscribed but you need to have, I don't know, I'm not sure how YouTube works, but the whole settings thing where you, when you subscribe, because it's hard for us to see who subscribes. So if you are subscribed, we're going to do it this way to make it a lot, a lot more simple. If you are subscribed to us on YouTube, screenshot it and put, send it to us on our IG. Yeah, I was about to say that. That way, that way we know who subscribed because for some reason our analytics and everything popping up on YouTube studio is not working and it's not, we're not able to see who's subscribed. So if you want to be part of the giveaway, go ahead and screenshot it. And don't unsubscribe either. Don't subscribe, <laughs> screenshot, and then unsubscribe because we'll fucking know. Oh um, my gosh. Subscribe, send us a picture on, on our IG, and uh, we'll go ahead and automatically input you into that. Um, if The sooner you do it, honestly, the sooner you do it, the more ch- I feel like the more chance you guys will have of, uh, of uh, winning, to be honest with you you know yeah but um we'll go ahead and do that and we'll do make a whole nother video for the giveaway as well or for or live stream it probably. Or, or most likely live stream on our ig too so uh go ahead and do that but um other than that do you have anything else Ozan? that's it man we're just about to close this out okay so i guess we're gonna go ahead and end everything else uh again we apologize for the uh for the inconsistency we promised to get back and and then just get right back on our feet we fall we tripped but uh you know what fuck it we're, we're here we're here you know we do hope you guys enjoyed it's uh, it was a little more of an informative video uh today our episode um with a little story of, of sosa being a complete fucking <laughs> idiot idiot yeah <laughs> hey it's, just, it's college man you do stupid stuff sometimes it's crazy but uh <laughs> anyways we're gonna go ahead and conclude it here we're gonna go ahead and uh fall asleep hit the sheets wake up the next morning and figure out how we're gonna edit this shit you already know how it goes uh we're gonna go ahead and uh end it so we'll see you guys in the next episode episode eight make sure you guys follow subscribe to us on youtube follow us on tiktok as well as instagram and uh ask us some fucking questions fuckers <laughs> okay damn <laughs> so Just kidding. It's we all love, love you guys uh, love you thank guys. you for tuning in and we'll see you next time on bomb squad videos. <laughs> we'll see you next time <laughs> bomb squad I mean. on beyond our mic this is episode seven have an amazing fucking weekend or week whatever whatever time you guys watch this and we'll see you guys in the next Come down. Peace.